And we are joined once again by our good friend Renee Skidmore. And Renee, uh, an exciting time for you because the Symmetra Tour is up and running again this week in Sarasota, Florida. Tell me how you're feeling and, and talk to me about going into the first round tomorrow. Um, it's finally here. I feel like it's been a while again. Uh, it's been about a month. So, yeah, it's, the week is finally here. I tee off tomorrow at 1.15. Um, I'm playing in Sarasota, Florida this week. So, yeah, I'm just excited about getting ready to go tomorrow. Tell us about the golf course and your readiness for it. Uh, the golf course is really nice. I'm excited about playing it. Um, it's an old Donald Ross course, um, so pretty traditional for his standards. Um, the greens are honestly are probably the most challenging greens I've ever put on, though. They're all domed and they're all turtleback greens, so it requires you to hit really precise shots into the greens, and they have false fronts, so you have to make sure you fly it to the hole each time. Um, but yeah, I like the layout. Um, the greens are they're firm. They're going to be fast. Um, yeah, I'm just, like I said, I'm just anxious to start tomorrow. So, How's the game? I mean, obviously, you're a competitor. You want to compete. And when there's time between your competitions, I'm sure it's a tough thing. Talk about how fresh your game is and, and how you balance your excitement with realizing that you are back to tournament play. Um, well, it's nice. Like I did play in that one Suncoast event a couple weeks ago, so it's not like I haven't played in anything since the last Symmetra event. So that was nice to at least fill a little bit of a gap. Um, I wish I could have played last week just because we had, I guess I had a week in between the Suncoast event and this coming week. Um, but yeah, I mean, you just have to practice. Um, I feel like it's testing my patience a little bit just because I feel like I'm ready to go and I just want to start. Um, but, I mean, it's good. I feel like I had a really good practice this past week. I've been playing a lot. Um, I feel like I've been playing a lot in the last month. I've just been playing lots of rounds of 18, um, opposed to just grinding it out on the range. So, my game is feeling good, and I'm excited to start. Talk about your confidence, because you had a nice result in the Suncoast Tour. You, you scored well. Um, so, so, talk about your confidence coming in. I'm feeling really good about going into this event. Um, the event that I played in a couple weeks ago, I had my best finish to par. I shot six under for the three rounds. Um, and I feel like I'm still, you know, I'm hitting it well, putting it well, rolling it well end over end. Um, I'm feeling, feeling good about my golf game. I just am ready to, you know, I'm ready for the challenge of the next few days. Um, and I definitely feel like I have more confidence coming off of that last tournament. It's good mojo going in. Do you watch men's golf? I do. Mm -hmm. What did you think of the Masters? I thought that it was an exciting end to the tournament. Um, I was pulling for Freddie. He did well, like he does in normal fashion the first two rounds, then he didn't play very well the last two rounds. Um, but when it came down to the wire the last day, I was pulling for either Jason Day or Adam Scott, and I was really excited to see that Adam Scott um, got the job done, and I think it was a special thing for an Aussie to win the event since it's the first Aussie to win a master, so that was pretty cool to see. Definitely the most yeah. exciting masters I think I've ever seen to date also. Yeah, I mean, just awesome. And I, I, I'm just wondering because, you know, a lot of guys get fired up by, by watching that. And I was just wondering if you felt the same way. You know, you watch a great event like that. You see a great ending like that. I'm sure it's just making your inside scream to say, let me at them. Let, let me go out there and play myself. It is. It's so inspirational to watch it. I mean, it sounds so cliche, but it's so true. It just makes you want to go out and go win and go play well. Um I'm excited to play this week. Can't wait to go. <clears throat> well, we wish you well, and uh, we're going to look forward to speaking with you. Um, why don't we try to hook up again uh, later in the week and check in on how you're doing, and, and uh, we wish you all the best as always. Thank you, Tom. Absolutely. That's Renee Skidmore. Renee, have a great week on the Symmetric Tour. Thank you. I'll talk to you soon.